I'm gonna give that a couple more tries solo, and if I don't get it, then I'll ring a bell. Oh, I'm sure you yes. can do it. You did pretty well for a guy that got horribly owned in the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, was act that wasn't that was too bad. It would have been much better if you had actually managed to parry anything that he did, well, but, you know. I mean, you can beat him without parrying him. It's just harder. Oh, I'm sure you can. Is it like, you can, but why would you want to? Like, that is literally his shtick. Par I see parrying as a crutch. Yeah, but Chaos always does things the hard way. Don't you remember the spider boss and the insults? <laughs> Fuck that spider. Wait, which boss? The, the spider, spider boss. boss. The, the one in the also, tunnel. Also, Liquidy, we, we died again. Oh, shit. You're right. <laughs> this is a long one. What it? Well, That's great. okay. A few years ago, when my wife and I had just gotten married and moved out on our own, we stopped at a checkers and waited in line. Right after ordering, a verbal altercation broke out in the side parking lot. We're kind of nervous about this, but we're committed. We're in line with cars ahead of and behind us, so we can't exactly take off, and besides, we're hungry. Over the course of the drive through wait, the verbal altercation turns physical. Employees in the restaurant spill out, presumably to end the fight. Nope, they join in. Oh. The, the ensuing fracas involves no less than 20 people, all a swinging and a kicking and just rumbling in the parking lot. We pull up as the car in front of us leaves, and the sole remaining employee inside the store apologizes, hands us our food for free, and we're about to take off as the sp uh, that. We're about to take off as the fight spills out of the parking lot and rolls over the hood of our car. Oh no. Jesus! <laughs> We've got our food, and a fight just invaded our personal space, more or less. So I hit the gas. As we take off out of the parking lot, the fight continues. <laughs> Eventually, fight my about? wife and I stop remarking about how fucked up it was and start looking at it in amusement. And some time has passed, so we've forgiven the place and decide to give it another shot. We go to checkers again. Same location. Uneventful. Until another fight breaks out. <laughs> again, employees spill out of the building to join the fray. And again, it ends up rolling over the hood of our car. This time, they're staying awfully close to our car. And in fact, a couple of thrown punches are missing their targets and hitting my fucking car. So I honk the horn <laughs> and then jump the curb to get out of there. Lightning can't strike three times, right? After about six more months pass, and angry letters have been written and all, we had been sitting on coupons for free food that we hadn't used and decided we would use them that night. Figuring, okay, those fights were in the past, we've complained about two separate fights, those employees should surely be fired by now, etc, etc. We justify giving the checkers one last chance. We do like their food, and we have several coupons ensuring we'll be able to feast on greasy foodstuffs for the agreeable price of nothing. Good. So we hop in the car, head on over to Checkers, and place our order. As if to cement that this is the worst Checkers on planet Earth, again, a fight breaks out in the parking lot. And again, employees, different ones this time, empty the restaurant and join the brawl in the parking lot. At this point, I just simply shake my head, call the police while I'm stuck in line and waiting for the inevitable spillover onto the hood of my car, and decide, nope, I don't care about your free food, I'm getting the fuck out. I think the, the writer of that story just recently discovered that they have a superpower to start a fight wherever they go. <laughs> <laughs> but like, only at this restaurant, nowhere else. Hey, there you go. Now you're, Jesus. Now, you're, now you're getting into it. Now you're fighting with parries. And so oh, that's weird and strange. Hmm. Uh oh. Oh, look, it turns out he's actually a big wolf monster. I have some bad news for you, Chaos Argy. Uh, turns out it's man. It, it turns out this fight is actually pretty tough. Oh, I'm, I'm told. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, fair or not, this is the fight that stonewalled me for so long. Like, <laughs> I probably died to Papa G like 50 times when I first played the game. Please stop calling then... him that. It's fucking excruciating. <laughs> I'm going to call him that because... <laughs> now I'm going to do it specifically to piss you off. But... It doesn't piss me off. Nothing pisses me off. More than he you says, calling you, him you Papa G. You have shown G. your true weakness, CJ. <laughs> 
<laughs> at, at, at any rate, um, yeah, like I died to him like 50 times, and then I don't think I died to anything else in the game more than like five or ten. <laughs> it is a pretty tough fight, especially when you're like first starting off. Huh. Would you like some advice from the master, Vader? Uh, when I get back up to him. Okay. Also, Liquidy, I died again. Oh, right. Damn it. <laughs> Man, I was catching my breath, too. <laughs> You're just getting over the last one. <laughs> I figured we were going to be lax on this one. We skipped a story time last session. Well, we, gotta okay, through, we gotta run through your uh, sets first, and then we'll then we'll start skipping. <laughs> Another story about Wendy's. Three summers ago, we had a mouse problem. At first, we would only see one scurry across the floor really early in the morning when there were only three to four employees there getting ready to open the store. We would also see them scurry late at night after we were closed and only three to four employees remained in the store. I would usually see one at least once a week. Management tried to take control of it by calling pest control and also setting up mouse traps until pest control got there. I'm not too sure if they ever notified corporate office about it or not, because the manager paid out of pocket for it. After pest control arrived, they put out their own traps, both inside and outside of the store in hidden locations, or using traps that just looked like rocks. I guess How they ingenious. did everything they could to get rid of them. One evening, during dinner rush, I was on drive through sandwiches, and the guy who was on the grill was bringing me over some cooked patties so I could make the sandwiches, and we saw a mouse fall down from the ceiling onto the grill. Mm. Like, oh, right wow. on the grill. That little, okay. that little fellow was jumping up and down, trying to get off of the hot surface as fast as he could. He finally oh, no. got off of the grill and ran across my sandwich station. Oh. At this point, I was screaming, and the girl guy was kind of freaking out, too. Uh, the mouse dove off of the sandwich station, onto the floor, and under the fryer. I didn't see him again that day. The mouse situation kept getting worse and worse. Just a few weeks later, I had finally quit. And after I quit, I made up a fake email and emailed the corporate office about it. Not sure if they did anything about it. What a story. Say, you, you know you don't have to fight these guys, right, Argate? You could walk right past them and go back to the boss. It's a matter I know, of pride. But <laughs> I want their stuff. I, I can't help but wonder how many fast food joints are like that one, where they have a mouse problem that they just ignore because, you know... They're gross. Eh, whatever. <laughs> as long as the mouse doesn't end up in the burger, I'm fine. I'm fine with it. We'll watch him tap dance on the krill, but... <laughs> Here, here's my advice to you for this fight, Chaos Argate. Dodge towards him instead of away when he is in his werewolf man form. Okay. Because if you dodge away from this... him, he'll basically just chain that fucking jump attack over and over until you're dead. His werewolf man form. His man wolf man. <laughs> his were- his were man form. In that up until that point in the fight, he was wearing the skin of a man, but now he has shown his true colors. Huh? Man's best friend, I think not. Second best friend, though, maybe. By the way, much of the session has been spent looking at stories. Did Argate put the music box in his quick bar? I did. Okay. This uh, wouldn't have to be that little girl's father, would it? I don't know, would it? Why? What would make you think that? If only you could read item descriptions when you pick up a new item in this game. Stop thinking about stuff and just kill monsters, Chaos God. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's just like our dear friend said. Don't think too hard about it. Oh my god, Goku just... Goku just got killed. Rip Goku. It's okay. Again. It's okay, he'll be back in a couple episodes. <laughs> Gotta get the Dragon Balls now. You got this. I believe oh, in you. You totally got this. I believe in a thing called love. Just listen to the rhythm of your heart. 
there's a chance we can make it now. Actually, there's not. There's no chance, really. But I believe in him anyway. Yeah, I, I'm losing the faith, if we're being honest. I'm not losing the faith. Never lose the faith. Ooh. I lost faith, but I oh. did it anyway. Hey, you got it. Ooh. I find your lack nice. of faith disturbing. I always believed in you. <laughs> Ever since I hear right footsteps. now. You did it. Hey, there you go. You have earned that trophy. Congratulations. There is a, uh, I'm going to say, gra grab your souls real quick, and then there is a lantern that just appeared here. I think he got it. I grabbed them early in the fight, actually. But now there's the lantern. I can't. So, yeah, do you uh, do you do you remember what the little girl said before you uh, came over here? Uh, should I have played the music box? Yes. Yeah. If you, it, it, she mentions that if you play the music that uh, they played the music box when Gascon forgot. Oh, them. you fucking asshole! <laughs> Are you doing it just to make me mad? <laughs> <laughs> Call him Gas Can, I fucking dare you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, um if if you play the music box when he turns into a were in, into his wolf form. He loses his can, aggro uh, and becomes your friend, actually. <laughs> what he act no, what he does is he just kind of falls over and lets you hit him a few times. Oh. Wait, does that uh, only work once or No, it works like it works three times, I think, and then if you do it a fourth time, he just turns into the, to the wolf early. My, what a guy that guess gone. God, you fucking asshole. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this well, was... gas can was pretty cool. I knew this was a bad idea. <laughs> <laughs> you chose okay. to be here, C. Jakes. No. You chose to be here. Look I'm at C. Jakes so down in the dumps. I'm going to pronounce it only the correct way when I do my Let's Play of Bloodborne. <laughs> I didn't realize that uh, the pronunciation of Gascoigny's name was so... Uh, Fuck. <laughs> Gis Gascoigny. Oh. No, Gascoigny. Oh. Gascoigny. Oh. Why is Gascoigny French? I don't get it. Never understood that. Uh, you see, I was I was injured at the Battle of Gascoigny. <laughs> <laughs> The only thing I wish but, uh, about Father Gascoigne uh, is that he was voiced by Psychedelic Eyeball. That's the only way it could leave, be better. Um, incidentally, if you head up to the uh, the Insight Shop, you can buy his uh, you can buy his armor now. Yeah. Oh, sweet. You say I? They said I love his coat. His coat is so good. I think like it's not very good mechanically, but it's it is. Who cares? Some, fashion souls. Is it is some top tier fashion souls. I think you should specifically avoid wearing it just because Artix wants you to. I don't. Yeah, but CJ, I'm looking at my own character who is wearing it right now, so it doesn't matter. No, it totally matters. You have to live vicariously through the Let's Player when you are a co-commentator. That's how it works, man. Well, I mean, really, could we wear it better than Vader Gas Can? No, no, we sure couldn't. Vater <laughs> Gaston? I'm just gonna buy the coat. I kinda wish that when you put it on, you grew two feet taller. Just, <laughs> just inexplicably. Like, maybe he was wearing, like, platform shoes the whole time. Also, I don't know if they were there for you, but you can also buy the, uh, the co-op and invasion bells from... I saw the invasion bell. I saw the invasion bell, but... They give oh, I didn't you the, pick that up. They give you the summoning bell for free, but you have to buy the one that allows you to co-op with other people, and then... Yeah, I the bought my white soap zone already. After, the invasion one shows up after that. I bought the white soap zone already. I, no, you don't have to buy it. It's it, They just give it to you. You just said the one that, I, that requires me to be summoned needs to be bought. No, no, wait. Hosting yeah, helper. Okay. Host co bell is free. Helper bell is insight. Co-op and Bloodborne sucks. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong. This game has the worst co-op and invasion system of any of the Souls <laughs> games. It's a real bummer. Has that been explained to you yet? How that works? Kind of. 
more or less. Okay. Three Basically, you can't be invaded until you try summoning someone. It's the Dark Souls 3 problem, but another game earlier. It's the Dark oh. Souls of Bloodborne. That's right, it sure is. I see. I've got bad yeah. news. I've got bad news for you, Chaos Argate. Go on. Well, you do... You do have a choice to make now that you've picked that up. Yeah, I mean, this that's is the, what a, that's know, the bad is... news. The bad news is that now you have to decide what to do with the brooch you just picked up. So I could give it back to the girl, or or, or keep it. it. Say, or you could tell her that you know, sorry, sweetie, we we couldn't find your mother. Hmm. No one will ever be any the wiser. <laughs> what, you thought there was going to be a happy ending to this storyline? No. This is a fucking Souls game. Nothing can ever be happy. I mean, Solaire found his son. Technically. Although I guess, Technically. I guess that involved him uh, burning eternally forever. No, no, he was looking for Gwyn, his father. Because, you know, he is the firstborn <laughs> yeah. in all. Is this a mimic? Yeah, it actually is. <laughs> you said that, and you were staring at that weird solar globe. Yes, that solar globe is a mimic. <laughs> well, you never know. Anything can be a mimic in, in the Souls game. I mean, you saw that concept art for that mimic tree that someone drew. <laughs> I don't think I saw that actually It's pretty cool It's like a body leaning up against a tree And you go to inspect the body and then a mimic pops out Because the tree was a mimic the whole time I once accused a staircase of being a mimic <laughs> Escalators yeah, are yeah, like yeah. staircase mimics yeah, so yeah, You gotta be real careful about those staircase mimics They'll get you every time I can't believe it Chaos Argate You did it Where am I? Hell. You found the church. Congrats. Yeah, Crow was yelling at me for not calling the thing an astrolabe. Oh. I don't actually know what an astrolabe is. So, I mean, that's fine. I know even less about it than you do. And you know the word astrolabe. And that's about it. Good. Well, I know, I know the word astrolabe because Crow yelled at me, but... Then again, Crow didn't finish Prince of Persia, so... <laughs> yeah, well, why would we listen to him? <laughs> wow, Bert. Since forever, but I won't Just holding that, just holding that torch right <laughs> over that person's head, huh? <laughs> <laughs> think you're making, think you're making him feel a little bit uncomfortable. It'll be fine. I he mean... just wants people to know about the safe place of his church. Why, why you got to do that, Argate? Oh, about him. Tell him about this in chapel. I lit a man on fire just to watch him die. Chaos Argate, 2017. Tell him to come on over. So, if you would. So, um, there's that lady from before the sewers who was tell asking me about a safe place. Yeah, but she was. Can a I cunt. tell her to come here now? Yeah, yeah. If you go back, you can tell her to come here. Okay. But do you really want to do that, considering yeah, her she's personality? Yeah, rude as hell. I mean, it's an option. It's true, it is an option. True, you don't have to, but, you know... Probably couldn't hurt. Now might be a good opportunity for you to go back to Central Yarnum now that you have this lamp. And, uh, you know, pal around with your friends there for a little while. Wait, I got a lamp? It's right in the middle of the room. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, lantern. I mean, you can buy a lamp if you were so inclined, but... Yeah, I noticed that. I didn't... I think I got... I, oh, hi. You're huge. You hurt. That means you have huge guts. Oh, yeah, those, those guys... Oh. Those guys are not friendly. I don't know if you can tell. Okay, so, um, I guess real quick before... There's two ways you can go from the cathedral. Uh, uh -huh. the, this, uh, if you're in the direction I think you are, you are headed towards the plot, I believe. There's only one there, direction okay. you can go right now. 
Which is why I said you should go talk to all your friends, because they might have some advice on where to go next. You've got so right, many well, friends in this is world. It, I, th I thought he could go to... No, we should be able to go to Old Yardum too, right? That is that is where he has to go, yes. That's the only way he actually, can go. Is it? I didn't think that was actually required. I thought that area was optional. It is optional if you don't want to spend 10,000 souls like a fucking chump to skip it. And Chaos Argate, you are not a fucking chump. <laughs> Thanks, I guess? You're so welcome. <laughs> That's a real vote of confidence compared to what you were saying earlier. I told you, you never gotta, you gotta never lose faith in your friends, but also <laughs> overconfidence can be a danger. So you have to be the exact right amount of encouraging and discouraging in order to be a good friend. So uh, what's the deal with these, bi uh, these tough ma uh, big masked guys? Well, they're, uh, they're, they're they're big and they wear masks. They're church yeah, guys. Yeah, there's, there's there's nothing really special about them. You know, they got these lanterns. They're they're glowy, but they don't attack with them. They sure don't. Yeah, parry that man. Just you, shove your fist right in his grundle. Just just reach right up into his sternum, rip his ribs out. That's fine. He doesn't need them. You can use the ribs as a trick weapon. What are they called? They, they are called the churchgoers' ribs. Okay. <laughs> you, you yank them out, and then you can transform between uh, a sword rib or a whip spine. That's how it goes. That actually nice. sounds pretty rad. It does sound pretty Dracula's, rad. I wish it was true. I thought Dracula's rib was a shield. Goku has also made it to Cathedral Ward. Go Goku's, Goku is super excited to co-op with Chaos Argate. Smushy is standing outside the wrong place because I'm an idiot. Whoops. That's fine, though. How do you feel about that victory, Chaos Argate? Your victory against uh, Gascoin? Uh, the victory against Gascan was pretty fun. God, I <laughs> hate you guys. <laughs> Parry him, like, over and over is really good. It does yeah. feel good. It, 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 it feels good to get off a parry on a boss in this game. It does feel good to get off I a mean, parry on the bosses. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, it, it sure does feel good to get off a parry. <laughs> God. By which I mean a man named Perry. Is that it for this room for now? Just the madman's knowledge? What? Is going crazy not good enough for you? Yeah, I, thought only... Only... I thought there was going to be a lever in here based on that note. There's only one way to find out. Go on the wiki. <laughs> I mean, that would be one way to find out. But would it be a fun way to find out is the question. Well then, our, our game's forbidden from Hello. using wikis. Only we can use wikis. We are the lore masters. 